Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Diamonds by Tita. You can call me Teresa. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you like this. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. That would really help me out. Um, so what I wanted to share today is um, this really cool um, storage cart that I got from Amazon. I put it together yesterday and um, you know, I paint, I diamond paint on my dining room table. And so I had stuff everywhere, even though I had some containers, I had all kinds of stuff everywhere and it was driving me crazy. So I thought it best if I try to organize it in some fashion. And then eventually I'm hoping to make a craft room um, out of a bedroom that was my mom's, but I'm just not quite ready to get everything cleaned out of her room yet. Um, eventually I will, but I'm just not ready yet. Um, so I wanted to share what I have here with you guys. Um, it, it didn't come assembled. It, this came from Amazon and I put it together, which I'm really kind of proud of myself because I'm not the handiest person ever. Um, but I was able to put it together. And um, it's a cool cart and um, the wheels lock so you don't have to worry about it, um, you know, moving around on you. Um, but it does move around, you know, real easy. See, it moves around real easy. And um, so I thought I would just share with you a little bit of how I'm beginning to organize. Um, I'm still, you know, really new at diamond painting. I've only been doing it since April, but I am hooked. It is so much fun. So anybody that is new to diamond painting or is thinking about diamond painting, you are gonna have so much fun and you're gonna love this diamond painting community. Um, everybody is absolutely wonderful. I've met some good friends already in it. Okay, so let me just show you first of all what I have here. Um, this is my um my eat breathe and dream diamond painting log book so i can keep it there it's real handy so i can jot things down on the painting i'm working on and then this top drawer here these are all my trays and i really prefer these trays that has the little um spout that you kind of can pull down like that I like these, these are my favorites so far. And I have a lot of them because I tend to leave a lot of colors out because I work on paintings that have a lot of confetti. So um, sometimes I keep these big uh, trays out. So I really like them. And then I have some um, cover minders and here's a macaron. My son love the loves these, these are his favorite cookie. And they all stick together and here's a daisy and what's stuck on it is another little flower I'm not quite certain what flower that is but I like it I don't use cover minders too much because I tend to use parchment paper but sometimes I use them but I like them anyway because they're pretty and then this next one is these are my smaller trays. Oh goodness, this drawer doesn't want to pull out. It's a little bit harder. So these are my smaller trays, again, that I use with confetti. Um, I've got a little bit of washi tape, not a lot. I tend not to use a lot of washi tape, just a little bit. I really like these trays. These are um, like um, the Russian nesting dolls. So they come with three. These came from Timu, and this one also came from Timu, and this is great for confetti too. I really like it. It has these six um, containers, and then they pop out if you want to use one big one. So I like those. So yeah, I use, use all of those pretty well. And then in here are my pins and my tweezers. Um, I don't have any expensive pins. Um, I think these came from, I think these came from Timu. 
I think most of these came from Timu. I tend to like this one. Um, it's thinner, it's more comfortable for me. I like that. Although, to be honest, I really don't mind these thin ones either. Um, as long as they have a squishy, I don't mind them. And for the fat pans, I don't mind these. This came from, I think, Amazon as well. And they have the thicker tip. Um, and I'm good with the thick or the thin. Um, either one is fine. I think I like the thin better for my square drills. And I don't mind the fat ones for my, for my round. And then I have a boatload of squishies here. And I've got a few metal tips. And the metal tips go in these pins. And then, of course, I have my, you know, my death tweezers. If you have these, be sure you leave the little cover on because they are really sharp and they could hurt you. And then, man, I think I've turned into a hoarder. Um, I have got all these tips. So I've got these plastic tips. These are the thin ones. And then I've got all of these. This is like crazy. See if I can get it open here with one hand. Look at all that. So I've got tons of them. Um, although I have heard that the Diamond Art Club new thin multi-placers are really good, but they're sold out. I might get those, I'm not certain. I don't multi-place too much. I do on rounds, um, but for the most part on squares, I single place all of them. So that's that drawer. Um, and in this drawer, this is all my wax. Again, crazy amount of wax. What one person needs this much wax? I don't know. And then this is the wax that comes in the little containers. They're from Diamond Art Club, Dreamer Design, Diamond Dots. This one came from an Etsy shop. Um, but to be honest, I, I really don't mind the regular wax. Um, I probably like this pur these two purples the best. Um, but it works fine for me. I really don't have any issues. Um, I do have a few uh, tricks on doing the ABs with those that I'll share as well. And then there's this drawer and I've got release papers. Um, I have a funnel and these are clips that came from the dollar store, these big, huge clips. And I hook the diving painting onto my easel with those. So that's really good. And look, I have a whole drawer that's empty. What can I fill up in there? I don't know, I gotta, I gotta fill it up with something. And then down here, this is um, my parchment papers that I use. Um, they're five and a half by five and a half. And this is what I, um, I put on all of my paintings. I take off the clear plastic sheet and put those on. Um, I find I like it better because I can still see, um, you know, what's coming up in the painting. I tend sometimes not to do it all in sections. I tend sometimes to finish a particular object in the painting. Um, kind of gives me a sense of accomplishment that way. If you do use parchment paper, whether it's something similar to this or the regular roll parchment that you cut, make certain, make certain, make certain, make certain that it is parchment, that it's not wax. Um, because if you use wax paper, it will get stuck to your canvas and it will be horribly difficult to get it taken off. So be sure that you're using parchment. This particular brand is really good. Um, both sides are slick and will not stick to the, to the canvas. Um, I got that at um, Amazon as well. And I can share the link if you want. I can put the link for that and also for the cart. And then I've got my, um, my straighteners here. I tend to use them when I open my paintings and straighten out the cover sheet. So 
So there's that. And then this last one just has my stickers. Um, I think I've got these on Timu. They have numbers and they also have a DM, a DMC code. I've got a couple of those in there. Got some plain stickers. And then I also have computer stickers that I can, I can do. Um, I'm trying to organize my 30 by 40 stash um, so I can put a number on the canvas as well as the drill so I can match them up and make it a little bit easier for me. So I'll be sharing my 30 by 40 haul coming up um, probably within the next week or so. I work full time so I can't do too many videos during the week because um, I, get, I get pretty busy with that. But I wanted to share my little cart with you. This might be something that would be helpful for your organization. Again, I'm a really new diamond painter, so if you guys have some thoughts about how I can do it better um, or how you've done it, I'd really appreciate your feedback and input. That would be amazing. And um, again, I'll put the links down for the little cart uh, for Amazon and the parchment papers if you're interested in that. Um, so that's about it. This is just a quick little video on my storage cart. Super excited about it. It's really, um, decreased some of my anxiety about how much stuff I've had. Um, it's made it a lot more organized. So I hope you find this helpful and I just want to thank you for stopping by. Really appreciate all of you. Remember that you are loved, you are worthy, you are fabulous. And um, I want you to wish you happy diamond painting. Take good care of yourself. And I will talk to you soon on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.